Anyway, I'm actually going to dye my hair and we're gonna see I asked you guys on Twitter and on Instagram if I should dye my hair like ashy brown So that's what we're gonna do today I was really scared that she was going to blonde because she's not the type to go to platinum blonde This is what it looks like so far. Oh my gosh. It's so oh my gosh. You're so oh my god You can see it's turning I'm light. so nervous. Oh my gosh. Look at that. My gosh <laughs> This is not a look <laughs> It's a look. It's not a look. It like I look like a highlighter. Oh, I look like some top ramen. It is like a reverse ombre. I am Goku. She said before we don't do the roots first. We're going to do the lengths uh, first. This was a good idea, but what happened? What happened? Now the roots is already patchy yellow orange. That's why you don't color the roots first. First, make sure that the length is okay. First of all, do the length. This is after the third time of bleaching. Probably shouldn't bleach it so much, so if you're doing this at home, do not bleach it that much. But yeah, we're just gonna go with this and dry it up, add the dye and see how it goes. Um, my hair looks crazy. Uh, we're gonna go back to to Sally's to get some different hair dye because this is not how I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be an ash brown and we put the hair dye in and it's still blonde. All right, so we finally got the goods and it's time to go ahead and get my ashy brown hair so we can get rid of this blonde that I have going on here because it's just, it's too much for me. I can't handle it. Well, I don't know what's gonna happen, but let's see. Section. Section. Did you move the color? But this is my hair and this is what it looks like now. It's like an ashy brown blonde type of feel. It looks good. It looks amazing. Wow. But it will fade out very quickly because you bleached it too far. We have one mixing bowl for the bleach, a mixing bowl kit with a little brush, some gloves, just the bowl itself, a fat tub of bleach to mix in with the bleach. I got the Salon Care 30 volume developer. For the toner, I got a 20 volume developer. No. Not a good start. Let me guess. The toner will be T18. Toner by Wella in T18. Arctic Fox Violet Dream. Got Periwinkle by them as well because this color looked insanely pretty when I looked up pictures of it. I have no idea what I'm doing, so we'll see how well that turns out. Ah, of course it was T18. It's not a toner if you mix it with 20 volumes. It's not, it's a color. I leave for five seconds and you baby proofed it. I just put melted coconut oil all, all up on it. But that was short to the video. That was the one thing I was missing. Coconut oil. Oh no, purple shampoo was missing. I have a little plastic bag on my head and underneath this I also have saran wrap. Um, just to kind of really insulate it. It's been almost 30 minutes when it reached that. Uh, when it reaches the actual 30 minute mark that I've had this on my head, I'm gonna take it off and um, rinse it out. I've been checking on it every few minutes. I check the integrity of my hair and make sure it's not dying on the inside. All right, so this is what we're sitting with right now. Um, as you can tell, it's still insanely dark. If the length is not good, wait to color, to bleach the roots. So yeah, there's definitely some spots. <laughs> some spots? Okay. Like this entire section didn't look very well. I'll give you a full view of my hair right now. I'm wondering why you had so many spots. You shouldn't double process your hair. You shouldn't put bleach in your hair more than once a day. Well, you shouldn't do coconut oil before you bleach your hair too. <laughs> on my head currently we have really pretty pastel blue right up here 
And then all woven throughout is this really hideous greeny, blondy color. Oh my god, it's so bad. You could not put the blue on the lengths. The lengths were not white. Even with the second round of bleach, the lengths were not good. So if it's yellow or orange, you cannot put that um, arctic fox blue or green or yellow or any color. That's not possible. The, what? How did I even do that? Like it's brown right there. You didn't take any sections. If you don't take sections, you don't have a good end result. Hey guys, so today we are dyeing my hair blonde. We are getting rid of this blue, okay? It has been blue for a while. Like I swear, I probably have like three inches worth of roots, okay? I'm using volume 30 developer and I'm using 20 volume developer quick blue from Sally's Beauty Supply one package I decided to give out a try with the L'Oreal um, purple shampoo that just came out I've heard such good reviews about it make sure you have some coconut oil I really think that coconut oil does help. For one, it helps moisturize your hair. And for two, when you have bleach on your hair, I feel like it's a slower process of it bleaching your hair. <laughs> Quick blue, coconut oil, and you wanna go to blonde. <sighs> If I look how you apply it, I'm scared too. Now, I know that like manic panic. Oh my God, it's burning. It's br <sighs> Guys. <laughs> if you apply it like that, it will hurt your scalp as hell. There's also a good chance that like, when you do this method, you don't always get it's turning pink, why? Watch why your is eyes. Pink? Why is my hair turning pink? This has never happened to me before. My nose is running because it's so strong. What? My hair is literally changing colors by the second. What do you think? I'm not gonna put any coconut oil in my hair this time. This calls for a deep mask after. Deep, deep, deep. So this is the result of me dyeing my hair. It's pink. I think it's a nice pink. Um, I think if I just used a bit of purple shampoo, um, I get it to the frosty whitish, kind of silverish. No, it's not possible with the purple shampoo to lift up the yellow pigments. A purple shampoo will just neutralize slightly yellow pigments. 30 volumes. That's a good start. Quick blue. That's a bad start. Why? Okay, there is help. And help is always good. If you do it by yourself, it's not good. So doing the regrowth, that's really good. Okay, let's forget it's quick blue. It's a good start. Sections, it, the sections may be a little more fine. So the color can penetrate in the middle. It's yellow. What are you doing now? Arctic Fox, lavender? <sighs> you see, the dark spots have not taken any product. This is my first hair film video. If you have any tips and tricks down below, let me know. You just said this is my first hair film video. You're planning to make another one? It's, it's, uh, my roots is coming out like pretty long as you guys can see it's 
becoming pretty bad and you could still kind of see some pink from my um, previous color it was like a purple and then it washed out to a pink and then now it left off I have to stop but the first thing I see your regrowth is really big and it's really dark uh, organic virgin coconut oil that I use from uh, Walmart and I believe it's like under like five bucks or something and I just use that to put on apply it onto my roots to protect it a little just because I did wash my hair like two nights ago and my hair do not like my hair dries out instead of uh, uh, becomes oily if you apply the coconut oil on the blonde parts it will protect the blonde for any bleach that will go over it that would be a good thing but don't apply it on your dark roots that is already difficult to bleach because it's so dark you put it on the wrong parts but to just in case so um, if I were to run out on this one then Actually, good. Uh, I will have a backup. <laughs> well, I have the 20 volume and the 30 volume, and uh, I don't know which ones to choose. Choose 20 because you will have to bleach it a second time, maybe even a third time. So, with that in mind, use lower volume. And so I'm just going to go with the 30 volume, this is the Salon Care 30 volume cream. I'm super nervous, guys. I'm Me too. Nervous. Me too. I just basically More like bleach. More. Pink the bleach on each strand of my hair and I did it on both ends. Like I flip it and I did it on the other side. And I just continue to do the same thing and following through till I covered up. There are sections! I still have a very long time and I feel like I really want to watch this side because... Uh... It looks very patchy. You took the sections, but you did not color it completely until the blonde. You did not saturate it enough. You didn't have, they didn't have enough bleach, of course, to packages. And I feel like this is a total fail for the first attempt or try just because... Tell me why, guys. Tell me why these little part area right here is not like lifting. I just said it. It didn't put enough bleach on it, enough product on it. It is not. Oh, okay. It's kind of turning brown, but it's still dark, guys. Come on, guys. Come through to that. But there's like no color on that hair in the back. This is how my hair looks so far. I feel like it has... Oh, for sure, I definitely need to bleach it again for the bottom. For everywhere, not the bottom. Like, like, see? I lift it a little, but just so a tiny it's kind of orangey, and her hair looks like pale yellows, but don't worry, we'll tone it later. You cannot tone? It's not lifted correctly. Before you wash it, it doesn't look that orange. But as you washed it, after you wash it, it looks so freaking orange. That's normal. That happens with everybody. It looks lighter and less yellow if the product is on your head. Yeah, see these Ooh. parts right here? Cool. Did not lift. See this area cool. like Jack, that I couldn't do? Um, what a I'm mess. gonna tell my sister to do it. Okay, so this is two days after and my sister did went ahead and helped me uh, re-bleached my hair the second time and she bleached some areas that I couldn't get to, especially my whole back. And yeah, this is how it looks like. Uh, it looks a lot better this time and she did cover a lot more um, part of my hair that I couldn't get to. I would highly prefer you have somebody else do your hair for me. You. It's pretty hard doing it yourself. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix these two. I'm only going to use like half of a bottle of each. Don't tone it. It's not correctly bleached yet. All right, you guys. So this is how it looks like after I washed off my hair. As you guys can tell, it did tone out the end of my hair, but it did not do anything to my roots it's doing something it's less yellow than before toning but it was not lift enough i am that boot i'm 
so here is the bleach that I bought. My mom bought. Thank you so much to my mother who's letting me do this. It's 9 o'clock. It's a Wednesday, but I have to do it for Billy. It's this L'Oreal Quick Blue. So I have tin foil wrapped around the hair that I just bleach. I have no idea if you're supposed to do this or not, but I watch YouTube videos and they said that you should secure it with aluminum foil because it like heats up the bleach or something like that. Warmth for the bleach to kind of just set in. But you can already see my hair lightening up. I'm um, probably gonna have to do this for 40 minutes. I don't have my phone whatsoever. My hair, it's yellow in real life. The hair that I'm bleaching is currently at like an orange yellow phase. And I hope my bleach hair doesn't turn out to look like those bleach hair you see like on Instagram. So I need around like 15 minutes more, but I don't think I can handle it. It's starting to burn like because it got on my like forehead and just all around my face and it's starting to burn. Oh, I look disgusting. I'm actually gonna cry if this is the end result. Yeah, it's freaking orange. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. If there are any pigments on your hair that it will turn white in one session with 30 volumes. It's better than you take 20 volumes, you put it for 30 minutes, you rinse it off and you apply it again with 20 volumes. The first 30 minutes of bleach is the most powerful ones. Today I'm going to be giving myself a bleach bath. Not really only my roots, basically half of my hair. It's not meant to bleach your regrowth. I've given myself a bleach bath before. I have dyed my hair from black to blonde. You did not go from black to blonde with bleach washes. Let me show you guys what I have. So I have my bleach. Okay, you are taking sections. That's a good thing. I am done. I'm looking at the first piece of hair that I did and it is lightening up. Um, it's just Maybe taking a little bit longer. I think for a bleach bath, you can leave it in however much you want. Eventually, it's going to stop developing. So I'm just going to leave it in for, I don't know, we'll see. If you do bleach baths, and we do that in the salon, you have to be there with your client. It can work very fast. You have to check it regularly. And when it's ready, you need to rinse it. It looks white, but wait until you rinsed it okay so don't mind my ends they are obviously brighter i feel like i should go in with a second round um of bleach but i'm going to do the toner and see what the outcome is yeah i don't know i'm sure it'll take out a lot of the brassiness but we'll see a t18 won't fix that or a t10 i will make merch with well a T18 won't fix that. Just figured it out. I think it's cool. I th I... No? Okay. The outcome. Very different half and half. I mean, this is still way too orange right now. Again, with the second time of bleach. And now not a bleach spot. Just regular bleach with 20 volumes. I hope. <sighs> I'm so ready to be done with this process. This is how my hair is looking. I'm hoping that this is enough. You cannot expect that a toner will fix that. <sighs> it will be better, but it will not be fixed. You are toning the lengths again. They are already gray white. So you are adding more gray to that blonde pieces and you still have a difference of color. Okay guys, so right now you can see that the bottom, like I let it air dry and it has like a mask in it, but I just need to get 
a little bit of the brassiness out on the top and tone the top and try not to get toner on the bottom half of my hair so this is how my hair looked the next morning there was still some yellow and orange tones on half of my hair and obviously because my lower half of my hair is already blonde it was much harder to try not to get things on it i realized that i needed to definitely go in one more time you're starting with something very delicate like with something very low volume with with the bleach part to say i will not damage my hair i will do just the bleach part you end up with three bleaches i ended up doing 20 volume with bleach the same that i was using before that's a good thing and i'm very happy that you did not go to the store for a higher volume because that will kill your hair. Going in with a quick bleach bath, literally five minutes, I coated my whole head with the 30 volume and bleach and gave it like five minutes and rinsed it out. And that actually stripped the toner from half of my hair. A bleach pot with 30 volume is not a bleach pot anymore. It took out the toner from my bottom of my hair. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put T11 on my upper half of my hair, leave it in for about 10 15 minutes and then put it on the rest of my hair and leave it in for another 5 10 minutes the best thing would be t11 on the yellow part and t10 on the length because this is more yellow than this oh my gosh i was almost regretting going through all this but i can say i am in love with end result okay so as far as like mixing the bleach um i did uh use 20 volume developer i don't like using anything higher than 20. quick blue always quick blue i cannot take it anymore i'm done i have a mental breakdown you have like virgin hair and your hair is healthier so yeah you can mix it the directions will be on the bucket so this is what it looked like after i bleached it the first time so this was previously bleached which is why so light and then this was super dark like i hadn't been bleached it's like the bottom is super blonde and super dry it's also already super dry it's not because you colored your blonde hair to dark that all the blonde pieces are completely gone the damaging that has been done with your blonde hair it's healed with a dark color. This is what's happening here. It's already very dry. And again, quick blue, come on. There are so many brands in the world. Why using quick blue? So I'm not gonna re-bleach this. I'm just gonna re-bleach like this part. I ran out of bleach. I was trying to do a bleach wash and I ran out of bleach, so it didn't work. Um, so all it really did was give me um, hot roots, as you guys can see. So it gave me these gross roots, which happens when you bleach, it's about to happen. And then from here to here, it's still kind of like orange, dark color. And then the bottom, I guess it toned with the shampoo. What a mess. So yeah, my husband is gonna go and get me um, some dye because I know that, because Sally is closed and I don't wanna deal with this hair tomorrow because it's New Year's Eve. So it is 8.30 and he's gonna go get me. It's not just eight o'clock in the evening, it's New Year's Eve. Who's coloring their hair at New Year's Eve? Okay, this is what it looks like when it's dry. So the roots are like bright and the rest of my hair is dark. And this was through whenever I added the dye that I showed you. And then this is what it came out like. Here we go again. Can't believe we used the whole tub. 20 volume. And then the activator cream, because it's not developer, it's different. And then this one, we'll see how that works. Okay, so this time I actually mixed the bleach the right way. As you guys can see, it's a big difference. So I bleached my hair all over again because I it wasn't light enough. The other color was just kind of to get through New Year's. Why put some box dye on your hair? I know to even it out, but if you put box dye, and then afterwards you're going to bleach it will be more difficult to go to blonde because you added more pigments on top of your hair <laughs> difficult video 
to react on. I, I want to stay calm. The ends are still a little bit darker because I didn't want to keep like bleaching over and over. And then as you guys can see, everything else is pretty yellow. Um, and then this is what it looks like once I dried it. Um, it's still uneven as you guys can see like the top is kind of like you can see some areas where it's like orange like the orange band right there and then the bottom is still a little bit dark but yeah I feel like my hair at this point was like super dry it's not dry it's dead so since it was still pretty orange and the color that I actually want to do on my hair was like a pastel pink or just like a really light pink um I felt like in order to get that pink, I would have to bleach it again because I was not going to go this far and then just add the pink on it and it not turn out right. So yes, this is the fourth time that I'm bleaching my hair and I literally did it within, I would say like two weeks. Your hair cannot restore in two weeks. It cannot. It cannot. It feels really hot from the foil, so that's good. As you guys can see, like... You can kind of still see some like spots, um, but for now it's as good as it's going to get. So this side looks really white. You see the ends? I'm just scared that because I've bleached it so much and I've done so much to it, that it's just going to get super damaged. So I'd rather just wash it off. And then even if it's not the platinum that I want, I think once i put the toner it'll still be a pretty blonde if it comes to your hair you have to be careful you have you you have to have patience press one of these videos to see more hair fills and hair tips have you learned from this video have been the day by this video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel press the notification bell you can follow me on instagram you can follow me on facebook you can follow me on tiktok all i'm going to say today is ciao kiss.